This is the 12-bit digital to analog converter module called MCV4725. This module can generate analog voltages that can be represented using a digital number by a microcontroller. Apart from generating analog voltage, it can also produce various waveforms. For example, it can generate a sinusoidal waveform that looks exactly like a sine wave. It can also generate a triangular waveform. Similarly, a square wave of fixed amplitude can also be generated. The Arduino board does not have any DAC pins, so we can use this external DAC with Arduino. Let's get started and learn about this digital to analog converter module in detail. This video is sponsored by Altium 365. The Altium 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, AMCAD, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your project over a wave for review purposes. Interact with mechanical designer for mechanical design. It also provides centralized cloud storage. It helps you with components management as it has the fastest search engine. It can also allow your team to work together on a single product. Finally, you can send your design to a manufacturing unit. To get started with a free trial, check the first link in the description. Welcome back again. Let's take a look at this DSC module. This single channel 12 bit voltage output digital to analog converter is known for its precision and versatility. We just need to program it and give it to some digital instruction. It will then output a steady DC value. It can also generate a sine wave, square wave, and triangular wave. It comes with integrated EEPROM, which allows developers to store configuration settings. It has an I2C compatible serial interface. The supported I2C address is 0 x 60, 0 x 61, 0 x 62, or 0 x 63. The I2C address is configurable based on the A0 pin. It has an output pin from which it can generate the output. Since it is a 12-bit DSC, it means it can divide this signal into 4096 intervals. For example, for a voltage range of 0 to 5 volt, an interval of 4096 is created, giving a resolution of 1.2 MB. If we want to generate 2 volt, then we can use this formula and value we get is almost 1638. So the digital value 1638 equals to 2 volt. One more thing to note is that this module has a very low output current, so you cannot use it as a voltage source. The best application for this would be a voltage reference source. Anyway, let's move to the usage part. Here is an interfacing diagram for this module with Arduino. The connection is simple is only I2C and power pins are used. You can use a breadboard for assembly. For programming, open your Arduino IDE. The first thing we need to do is install the MCV4725 library. This library is developed by Odafruit and has many functionalities. Now let's test the module. This Arduino code will generate various analog voltages. Basically, we are generating 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4 volt, and maximum voltages at intervals of every 2 seconds. So upload this code. You can use the multimeter to check the voltages. But the problem is the voltage values are not generated correctly. This is because the Arduino 5V pin is not generating an exact 5V. Instead, it is giving a value like 4.74V. To fix this issue, we need to modify this analog value from 4095 to 4350. Now, as you can see in the multimeter, the correct value of voltage is displayed. 
Therefore, using this code, we can generate any fixed DC voltage. Now, let's move to the waveform generation part. Here is the code to generate the sine wave. Generating a sine wave using the MCV4725 and Arduino is a great way to produce a smooth analog waveform. Upload this code to the Arduino board. And the sine wave generator is ready. Look at the sine waveform on my oscilloscope. It appears so smooth. You won't even notice that the waveform is digitally generated. You will only observe the voltage levels when you expand this wave. This is the code to generate a triangular waveform. Generating a triangle wave involves incrementing and decrementing the DSC output in a loop to create a linear rise and fall in voltage. We can upload this code and here is the output on the oscilloscope. This waveform looks exactly like a triangular waveform. Again, if we expand the labels, you will see the quantization interval. The method for generating the square wave is the same. Generating a square wave is a straightforward task. The MCP4725 will alternate between two voltage levels to create the square wave. After uploading the code, the oscilloscope shows the following waveform. Apart from the sign, triangle and square waveforms, you can develop code to generate any type of waveform, like sawtooth, integrated or differentiated waveforms. That's all for the video part today. You can follow our website article to find the circuit, programming and all documentation. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.